Yo, what's up? It's your boy Jason here with a brand new episode of Heart and Soul Sneaker Vlog. You know I had to wear some Ralph Lauren for this episode. I was gonna pop the collar and all that, but nah. <laughs> but um, anyway, on this first episode, we're gonna bring a new pair of kicks to the family. The Nike Air Easy 2's Red Octobers. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get it in. Alright, so for those of you who aren't too familiar with the Nike Air Yeezy 2s, they're Nike's second edition collaboration with Kanye West. They gave him a sneaker deal, he did the first pair, they sold real good, so they gave him a second one two years later and they, there was a rumor that he was supposed to do a new pair of sneakers every other year, but we all know he ended his contract recently with Nike and now he's on to Adidas and their collaboration is supposed to come out in September. It's supposed to be a, you know, a lot more available to the public than the Nike um, Air Yeezys 1 and 2. So, you know, hopefully that'll be a good look for him. But um, the Nike Air Yeezy 2s, they're probably like the most sought after sneakers, um, you know, of recent, recent years. Uh, the Red Octobers, which is the all red colorway, that is one of the most popular Nike Air Yeezy 2 colorways. So, um, they didn't come out uh, along with the with the all black and the platinum ones. And um, they were rumored that they weren't going to come out since um, Kanye West ended his contract with Nike before they did. But on a random Sunday two weeks ago, I'm not sure the date, but on 1 o'clock p.m., Nike tweeted a link. Um, to their site saying that the Nike Air Yeezy 2s are available for sale. I was probably on my phone just playing Flappy Birds or something and as soon as I got the text from Nike's tweet, um, I clicked the link immediately, no hesitation, and you know, waited in line. I waited in line for 10 minutes and then I actually got the tweet saying that, that they sold out um, before I actually got the shoes. You know, As soon as they said it was sold out, like 10, 20 seconds later, the sneakers were in my cart and I put the information in as fast as I could and I couldn't believe it myself. I guess the sneaker guys were just looking down on me. No, I guess I was just lucky that day. But um, I was lucky enough to get a pair. If you were lucky enough to get a pair, shout out to you, you know, big ups to you. Um, I don't know, I felt real special, even though I kind of don't anymore because everybody's taking, you know, everybody that got them, put them all over Instagram, selling them for 10 grand and up. So it's like, you know, as a real sneakerhead, I bought the shoes for me, for my own personal use. So, you know, I'm going to definitely wear them. I'm not sure if I wear them as much as my other sneakers, but they're definitely going to be worn. You know, they're definitely going to be kept in my collection. I'm not selling them. You know, I was actually happy that I was able to actually get them in my size. You know, I was actually get, able to get my nine and a half. I didn't have to compromise my size at all, which is usually uncommon, especially for high releases, you know, high anticipated releases like this. But um, I feel like this kind of release is, is real good, especially since um, you know, people who use bots they didn't have a chance to use their bots, so you know it was pretty much fair game for anybody who you know who was lucky enough to see the tweet at that time. You know, I know a lot of people um, tweeted and stuff. They were mad because they were asleep at the time or something like that. But you know, early bird gets the worm. You know, one o'clock in the afternoon on a Sunday. I mean, I don't know. If you sleep at that time, then I guess you just wasn't meant for you to have them. But anyway, I got them. I'm happy, you know. So, you know, I just want to share them with you guys and let you guys, you know, see uh, see somebody that you know with them. You know, see them, you know, in hand. Show you on foot. Uh, the soles are supposed to glow, so we're gonna check that 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 detail out too. Check out some other features check out the dust bag and everything that came with it. So um, let's check them out. Right. So you see they come in, they're all red. 
Nike Sportswear box. That's the new one that they have. It's pretty much like the you next know, what they put foam posits, some of the new foam posits in, things like that. Um, it's a pretty big box, you know, bigger than my, my normal nine and a half boxes. But um, I guess it's a pretty big shoe, so you know, big shoe, big box. So uh, first thing I want to show you guys, got the Nike receipt. In case anybody tries to say they're fake, you know, the authentic came straight from Nike. So, um, yeah, proof of authenticity. All right, so the first thing, you know, they have the, the dust bag folded up right there. Check that out. Regular paper packaging, white paper. Right, so first we'll detail the dust bag. Got the Yeezy logo on it. So you got the little bird on it with inside the pyramid. Right. Got the gold. Got the gold tips at the end of the string, the drawstring. Um, also at the other end of the drawstring is the uh the lace lock thing that they that they put on the sneaker got the Roman numeral two on it and they got the uh scales on them yeah same thing actually on the other side uh, same thing on the other side it's the Nike logo Nike sportswear uh, the color is more of a infrared, solar red. You know, that's the color that they say. But um, it's more of an infrared. I thought it was going to be more like a varsity red. But, you know, it's still a cool color, I think. Yeah. All right, so next thing, you know, I just want to show you guys the shoes. That's the big thing. All right, so here we go. Nike AGZ 2 Red Octobers. Um, just off of first looks, it looks like a great shoe. You know, I'm really feeling the color. It's a little, you know, it's different than what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be, like I said, a darker red, but it's more like an infrared, kind of between orange, pink, kind of. But uh, it's definitely a cool color. It's nice. It's a real nice shoe. Got the suede on the on the tip of the toe box. Suede is real soft. That's a nice detail. You know, I think suede on shoes is like one of the best, you know, best materials to put on on a pair of sneakers. As far as like for casual wear. So, you know, this 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 is a nice suede on it. I like that. Uh see so you got the mesh upper. You know, goes all the way around, pretty much to the to the other half of the shoe. Yeah. And then when you get to the back half of the shoe, it has uh, these spiky reptile scale kind of things on them. Um, that's one thing that, uh, that I kind of like better with the the, um, the black and the platinum Yeezy 2s. They had um, like scales, like they had scales on them instead of the, the spiky material. And this is uh, like a rubber rubber material. Um, the other one I just felt like it had, I'd never seen them in person, but they looked like they had more texture. And um, I don't know, I think it fit the the whole theme of the sneaker better than uh, this reptile, you know, spiky scale type thing. But um, it's still pretty cool, I think, you know. Um, also another thing that's different compared to the, the black and the platinum Yeezy 2s is the, the swoosh on it. See the swish has like a like a diamond cut type thing on them. Uh, the um the other the black and the platinum easy too is they fit in with the scales. So I thought that was um I don't know, I kinda like this like this one better. I think it would be better if it um you know stuck out further than the scales. But uh I think that's still that's still pretty cool. I like that. Then um on the back Got the reptile spine. I think that's a real cool detail on them. Yeah. 
Uh, the suede goes all the way around. You see on the on the inside of the shoe. So that's cool. Got the rubber strap. It says Nike on it. And um, it's Velcro. It has a Yeezy, and I believe that's supposed to be hieroglyphics. So that's a cool detail. All right. Um, the laces are the same infrared, solar red color, and um, like I said before, with the dust bag, they have the same details on them. They are uh, the gold lace tips. Is out. And um, the little lace lock thing got the same thing that's on the side, the spiky reptile things. And then uh, the Roman numeral two on the suede, you know, suede side of it. Um, has that same Yeezy logo on the tongue with the bird inside the inside the pyramid. It's cool. And um, the tongue is like a it's mesh material too. That's pretty cool. Um, let's check out the sole. Probably help take the paper out first. All right, so um, here's the sole. It's pretty easy to take out. Here's the Kanye logo on here too. Uh, it feels real soft. It feels real good. It has the holes in it, keep your foot ventilated. So that's a that's a cool detail. No, um, has some more details on the inside. Try to get you guys a good view of it. There you go. I guess. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. I read about that, but I forgot what that means. So, if anybody does, let them let me know in the comments. So I'll try to get this back in there. All right, um, I'll deal with that later. But uh, now I'm gonna show you guys an on foot video of the sneakers, and you know we'll get into the other details like the sole glowing, um, and uh, things like that. All right, so here is on foot the Nike Air UG Twos Red Octobers. Uh, they feel real comfortable. I laced them up a little bit differently so that you could see. The Roman numeral two up in the front on the lace locks instead of instead of the scaly reptile spiky thing. I need to come up with a better word for that. But um, <laughs> and uh, I tied them up. Have a uh, the laces tucked in so that the the gold lace tips would be uh, falling to the side a little bit. And uh, I have them strapped up right now. When I wear them out, I'll probably have them unstrapped. But um. They feel real snug. They fit true to size. They're real comfortable. Um, the soles feel real nice. They're real soft. Um, overall, I say it's a pretty great shoe. All right, so I'll show you guys a little bit more. A little bit more details on them. Alright, so now we're going to try and see if we can see the glow in the dark. Alright, so trying to show off the glow feature on foot didn't really work too good. So I got them right here in hand and we're going to see if we could see it a little better this way. As you can see, they're glowing really nice. I think this is a really cool feature on it. It's dope. Uh, Nike hasn't really started doing glow in the dark soles up until like the Galaxy Phone Posits and that whole All Star collection. Um, they put you know the glow in the dark feature now on some of the Nike ID options, and um, I think it's a real cool feature. My first pair of sneakers with glow in the dark on them. Hopefully, you know I'll get some more in the future because uh, I think that's really cool. 
and that's really cool detail on it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about these. It's a great shoe, real comfortable. I love the color. Um, the details on it are just real good. Um, yeah, it's just overall, it's a great shoe. If you ever have a chance to get it, I would recommend you getting them. Um, I wouldn't spend like $5,000 for it though, but if you spend that much, then you obviously got it like that. But no, nah, I, um, I spent a few hundred on them, but you know, maybe a thousand just because of like the whole story behind it, the significance behind it. But uh, other than that, I wouldn't spend like, you know, the crazy amounts that they have on, on eBay. Um, yep, Nike Air Easy 2s, Red Octobers. Thank you guys for watching. Follow me on Twitter if you're not already, at Heart and Soul Kicks, Kicks with a Z. Um, follow me on Instagram. My personal Instagram is J underscore FM underscore S. Um, subscribe. Continue watching the videos. Let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate everybody liking and everything. So, um, you know, let me know anything, though. Any kind of criticism is, is appreciated. Uh, and I just want to let you guys know that, um, after this video, I'm going to start po trying to post videos every other week. So, you know, keep following me on Twitter uh, and subscribe to stay posted on when the next video will be posted. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.